How to exercise to prevent blood clots. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more people die each year from blood clots than from breast cancer, HIV, and car accidents combined. Certain factors, such as age, weight, and overall health, can put you at greater risk for getting a deep vein thrombosis DVT, or blood clot. Left untreated, a piece of the blood clot can break off and move to your lung, causing a pulmonary embolism. You can exercise to prevent blood clots, primarily by walking regularly and stretching your legs, feet, and ankles to improve circulation, 1. Preventing blood clots while traveling. Stretch and move your legs frequently. Particularly if you're traveling a long distance, make sure you take breaks to stretch your legs and keep the blood flowing. You can do stretches while seated or by standing in place beside your seat. One exercise you can do in the aisle or while seated is to extend one leg straight out in front of you. Flex your ankle, pulling your toes towards you. Hold this position for a few seconds, then release. Repeat several times, then do the same thing with your other leg. Pull one knee up towards your chest while seated. Hold it for 15 seconds, then release. Do the same thing with your other leg. Do up to 10 reps at a time to increase circulation to your legs. Stretch the top of your foot and shin while standing. Cross your left ankle over your right ankle, pointing the toes on your left foot to the right. Bend your right knee and hold for 15 to 30 seconds, then switch. Open your hips, if you have room, from a seated position. Take your legs wide and place your elbows on your thighs, leaning forward. Gently press forward until you feel the stretch in your thighs. Hold for 10 to 30 seconds, 3. On a plane, check the seat back magazines and brochures for exercises recommended by the airline. Get up and move around. Whether you're traveling by train, plane, or automobile, long-distance travel involves a lot of sitting. When you sit, you decrease circulation in your legs, especially if you sit with your legs crossed or with one foot under you. If you're on a plane, try to get an aisle seat so you can get up and move around more easily. Ideally, you want to get up and stretch your legs or walk up and down the aisle once every hour or so. While sitting, keep your feet directly in front of you or stretch them under the seat or into the aisle when you can, rather than crossing your legs. Exercise your feet and ankles while seated. In addition to walking the aisle occasionally, there are exercises you can do to improve circulation in your legs and keep your feet and ankles active without moving around too much or disturbing other passengers. Clinching and widening your toes increases blood flow to your feet, as does circling each foot clockwise and counterclockwise at the ankle. Press hard on the floor with the balls of your feet, keeping your leg muscles active. This increases blood circulation throughout your leg. Wear loose-fitting clothing and shoes you can slip on and off while traveling. This will enable you to stretch and move more easily. Stop at least once an hour if you're driving. You may not think of the potential to get a blood clot while you're in a car, because you have more power over the situation than you do if you're in a plane or other public transportation. But the risk is similar if you're seated for a long period of time. On long distance road trips, you may feel the pressure to make good time and reach your destination as quickly as possible. To prevent blood clots, however, it's important to stop frequently so you can stretch your legs and walk around for a bit to bring the circulation back. You don't have to make an extended stop. Five minutes at a rest area is sufficient to get the blood flowing again. Combine your exercise stops with regular road trip stops to be more efficient. For example, if you have to stop to fuel up, walk around your car while the gas is pumping. Identify factors that put you at increased risk for blood clots. While anyone can get a blood clot, there are particular factors that increase this risk. People who get blood clots while traveling typically have one or more of these risk factors present. Surgery or injury in the past three months, especially if it results in limited mobility, such as a cast on your leg, a personal or family history of blood clots. Obesity. Smoking. Over 40 years of age. Hormonal variations, including use of contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, or pregnancy. Recognize the symptoms of clotting. Especially if you have an increased risk of developing a blood clot, you need to know what to look for so you can seek treatment immediately before the situation becomes life-threatening. If you notice swelling in a leg or arm, this could indicate you have a blood clot, particularly if only one leg or arm is swollen, but the other appears fine. Skin around the blood clot may be red, warm to the touch and painful or tender. Even if there isn't any swelling or redness, if you feel pain in your leg or arm that you can't explain, you might have a blood clot. If you notice a fast or irregular heartbeat, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or lightheadedness, you may have a pulmonary embolism. Seek medical treatment immediately.